Problem 47, evaluate this double integral. Uh, we're being asked to find antiderivative of secant squared of two thirds y to the three halves. That sounds quite difficult to me. So let's change the order of integration. Right now, right now we have x is running from zero to one half. Y is running from x squared to one quarter. Okay, let's draw the picture. This will be very difficult to successfully complete if we don't draw a picture here. Uh, let's see, x is zero. x is zero. x is one half. Uh, we're going to need to draw the curve y is equal to x squared. So this is y is equal to x squared, which passes through the point when x is one half, y is a half squared, is a quarter, and the high, and the highest x, uh, sorry, the highest y can be is y is a quarter here. Which region are we dealing with? We're dealing with the region. So for fixed value x. Y runs from X squared to a quarter, so we're dealing with this region right in here. So instead of slicing this vertically, we want to slice this horizontally like so. Okay, what are the new bounds here? Y is running from zero to one quarter. X is running from zero to this curve here. This is y is equal to x squared, which is x is equal to square root y. We, we take the positive square root because we're in the first quadrant. Okay, so our new integral, y runs from zero to a quarter, x runs from zero to uh, square root y of secant squared of two thirds y to the three halves dy dx. Okay, so, 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 oops, uh, what, what mistake did, what mistake did I make here? I forgot to change the order there. So dx dy, of course, that's right, but those should match. Okay, so our inside integral, we're integrating with respect to x. This whole expression is a constant with respect to x. So, antiderivative is just this constant with respect to x times x. Plug in x runs from zero to square root y dy. Okay, so y runs from zero to a quarter, secant squared, two thirds of y to the three halves. Plug in x is square root y, and then plug in, x, subtract what, what the expression we get plugging x is equal to zero, but this will just give us zero, so we can drop that term. Okay, so first integration down, one more to go. This still might look tricky here, but the key thing to realize is that the derivative of two thirds y to the three halves is going to be y to the one half. And so this suggests, this is going to suggest for us uh, substitution. So let's make the substitution. Uh, two thirds, uh, u is equal to two thirds y to the three halves. So du then will be uh, y to the one half dy. So that's great. This right here is going to be du. And this will be u. So now our integral is the integral of secant squared u du. Uh, the last thing we have to do here is change the bound. So when y is zero, u is two thirds times zero to the three halves, that's zero. When y is a quarter, 
if y is equal to a quarter, u is equal to two thirds times a quarter to the three halves power. And so this should equal two thirds times one eighth is going to be one twelfth. Okay, what's antiderivative of secant squared u? That's just going to be tangent of u. Plug in u is zero, u is a 12, and we have tangent of 1 12th minus tangent of zero. Of course, tangent of zero is equal to zero. So our final answer is tangent of 1 12th. So like so many of these integrals, the whole point here you need to change the order of integration to allow you to actually perform the integration. And then there's a nice little substitution going on.